chronic and acute stress. The extent of stress is affected by the level of the stress response, the period of time that the stress response is caused and the way the individual handles the stressor. If you are confronted with the stressor on a regular basis and you do not eliminate on your own or determine a way to take care of your stress, then the impact will be more obvious than those triggered by a one-time stressor. These signs or symptoms will be perhaps acute or chronic. Acute signs have an instant start and you notice them quickly. Chronic stress is a lot more of a buildup of stress in the long run. Chronic stress might be the outcome of stressful situations you find personally in such as work environment difficulties or it could be the outcome of a health condition. For the health condition, it could possibly be the direct result of the health condition or an effect of attempt to manage health problems. The point is the fact that stress is deep and lasts quite a long time. Usually, the reaction to acute stress is supposed to be temporary. The stressor is existing. Your entire body reacts to it in the most suitable way it is aware how until the stressor is vanished. Preferably, the body comes back to its naturally calm condition and absolutely no real harm is carried out. If the stressor is extended, then there may be more of an impact. This is also the situation if the stressor is presented continuously. Having said that, chronic stress involves times when an individual is subjected to higher levels of stress over an extended period of time. This continuous stress reaction can badly impact an individual's wellness. It weakens your own immune system. Your body's power to fight off disease and infection is affected. This is truthful simultaneously for the common cold as well as for more severe health conditions. Chronic stress leaves you susceptible to it all. Needless to say, it also designs you up for heart problems. You likely know about the link between stress and hypertension, but you might not have understood all the other potential effects. It could trigger irregular heartbeats, issues with your blood's capacity to clot and hardening of your arteries. Stress is also associated with coronary attack and heart failure. Regularly, maximum levels of stress may also reveal as chronic muscle tension. This can lead to muscle pain or even muscle soreness. Troubles of the neck, lower part of the back, as well as shoulders are usual in those who constantly undergo high levels of stress. Your entire body was not really designed to suffer from high amounts of tension for extended periods of time. Stress could cause a number of other troubles too. A few of these are peptic issues, skin problems, and issues with asthma, furthermore other breathing difficulties. Each one is often triggered or aggravated by the happening of stress. Physical stress can lead to overuse injuries. Overuse injuries happen when muscles are subjected to a mixture of repeated movements and uncomfortable positioning. This can result in tension, distress and ache. It is a commonplace happening in the hands, wrist and elbows of computer professionals. Carrying out a task in an uncomfortable body position once is not as more likely to do much damage, but carrying out the same movement in the same uncomfortable position day after day is going to be harmful to your physical wellness. The truth that stress can result in or bring about severe health problems is the reason for worry. Society's reliance on computers is only going to develop and that will build these issues more appropriate with each moving year. The reliance upon computers is boosting these kind of health worries and this concern 
is not going to disappear until computers go fall out of fashion. That is most likely not going to occur for a long term, if ever. The extended periods of time used at computers include to this equation. Everybody is at an increased risk. In this period of computers, stress assumes on a new definition. As lives center increasingly more around computers, a lot of the stress that individuals experience exhibits in ways that are particular to dealing with computers. Obviously, some general responses will continually be connected with stress, but computers bring along with them particular hazards. The mind and body is often stressed in various ways. As computers take control of more and more of your precious time, you will have to find methods to decrease the stress that their use places on you.